Hey everyone, this is John McNaughton, and I'm doing another sketch today of one of my favorite people from the cinema. <laughs> this kind of dates me, makes, makes you, know, you can tell how uh, good old American I am, the fact that I love John Wayne. I've done uh, several sketches of him in my sketchbook, and this is the new one today, I just finished. I thought I'd do a time lapse so you could watch as I pull this together. It's going about four times the normal speed and you can see how quickly I laid in the eye working on the nose and you know just trying to capture the iconic look of the Duke. Uh, John Wayne was his cinematic name um, and you know, he went by the Duke. He uh, really for many Americans captured the essence of the American spirit in the, the roles he played in the movies that, that uh, made him famous. You know, he always was the same person. He, he played he played this uh, persona of, of John Wayne in every role he had. Um, uh, even when he played the quiet man, you know, an Irish, I think he was an Irish boxer, uh, he's still John Wayne. And, uh, you know, off screen he was as much an enigma as he was on screen. And he often spoke out about patriotism, and about uh, American ideals, bravery, you know, men being men, you know, standing up for what's right in this country. And a lot of people respected him for it. Um, you know, he wasn't always politically correct. He certainly got himself into hot water even back in the 60s as he, uh, you know, spoke out against, you know, what he thought or felt was, was what was going wrong in the country and, and I, I had to agree with him on most just, just about everything. So um, my dad was a huge fan of John Wayne. You know, he had all his movies, he has different memorabilia and so oftentimes I'll, I'll draw these sketches for my dad. He really appreciates them. And I know a lot of Americans feel the same way about John Wayne. So. Anyway, I'm just sketching them in here and uh, trying to capture the look. Um, you know, often I'll just look on the internet and pick out several pictures of John Wayne, do kind of a composite, and uh, try to capture a certain feel. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to be doing very many more John Wayne pictures. I've probably done three, I guess. So, got him given that classic stare. And uh, he's going to have his cowboy hat and his scarf. And, uh, you know, I guess here he's probably in his 50s or maybe maybe even his 60s the age I'm drawing him right now. Doing some cross hatching and uh, pulling it together. You know, I wonder, I wonder how John Wayne would feel about what was going on in the country today if he was still here. I bet you he'd be livid. He'd be one of those guys tweeting up a storm. You think... You think Trump was going at it? You just—I mean, if if John Wayne was around now, whew, he'd be he'd be telling telling the what's what and who's what at this point. So, yeah, we need more John Waynes in this world. You know, people that stand up for what they believe, not worried about you know what anyone thinks. And, um, yeah, yeah, he's a interesting guy. I remember a story that I heard about him, how he was discovered. I guess he was on the set of a John Ford movie, and uh, they couldn't get anybody to jump in the water, you know, even the stuntmen. And so John Ford made some comment, isn't there anybody here that has the nerve or the, 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 the courage to jump in this water? And they had this side hand kid, some college student, football player, just jumped right in the water. And, I guess uh, John Ford was impressed with the young man and, and his, uh, you know, his gumption. And his, he was a handsome young guy, and he started using him in the movies. And, and John Wayne developed his swagger and, and uh, you know, everything that you know personifies him, to, you know, in the minds of Americans today. He developed uh, 
during those early years of playing different westerns, different B, uh, B western movies. You know, um, I wonder how somebody like him inspired actors like Clint Eastwood and others. But you know, John Wayne was his own guy. Boy, he just there's nobody like him. They broke the mold. So this was fun to, to sketch out. Uh, some parts I had to, you know, kind of look closely and, and guess where the anatomy was because I'm looking at these pictures and it's just hard to see everything. You know, uh, the nice thing about the internet is I can go and grab tons of different pictures to, to work out the details in people's anatomy. But, you know, there rarely is something that is just perfect. So, you know, getting this, figuring out what's going on with his eyes and nose. That's tricky, but I think I got it. Um, and I'm just sitting here sketching away in my studio, uh, doing my little cross hatch. And, uh, I'm going to post this in an email today. Um, and I've got quite a few people that have subscribed to my email list, and they're the ones that usually buy these sketches. I do limited editions. So I like to make these available for those, and they usually sell out the same day. I do a small edition. And sell, and sell this little this, this little sketch will sell but um, yeah it's it's fun I've always been a sketcher always been an, uh, someone who likes to draw and uh, I take my really exciting ideas and I turn them into paintings but one of the things you'll notice is I left some room on the right side of this because I'm gonna put one of his famous quotes which makes it kind of fun you know it's one thing to to draw these pictures but then to put something that they actually said it adds a whole level of meaning you know to what's there and, and uh, you know when I first started doing these I thought oh I gotta use my fancy handwriting I gotta you know really measure these out and I'm like you know what this is just my sketchbook so you'll see when I start to actually write the words I mean I don't even try I just I just draw them out with as much personality as I can and uh, same thing with the face. You know, I'll, I'll accentuate certain things uh, to make them, you know, give it a little bit of uh, flavor. What I mean by that is maybe put a little more emotion in the face or, or twist something or, sharp, or sharpen an edge. So here you can see I'm, I'm writing it out. And uh, my hand's all cramped up from drawing this. But uh, I just write it out. Hopefully I don't misspell anything. Uh, sometimes I do that and I get called out for it. <laughs> but I do my best, okay? So I'm writing out this quote here. And it is, uh, When the road looks rough ahead, remember the man upstairs and the word hope. Hang on to both and tough it out. Yeah, that's a pretty, that's a pretty perfect uh, quote for John Wayne. So here we are zooming in on drawing the sketch and there he is the Duke he's looking at you thanks for coming hope you enjoyed this bye